We're going to explain how to pair your Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard and mouse with Bluetooth. One, first make sure your keyboard and mouse have fresh batteries. Low batteries can interfere with pairing. Two, next, put your keyboard and mouse into pairing mode. This usually involves pressing and holding a specific button, often a small button on the underside or near the power switch. Your keyboard and mouse manuals should specify the exact button and the length of time you need to press it. Look for a button labeled Connect, Bluetooth, or something similar. Sometimes a small Bluetooth symbol is printed on the button itself. If you can't find it in the manual, a quick online search for your specific keyboard and mouse model plus pairing mode will likely yield the answer. 3. Now turn on Bluetooth on your computer or device. The method for this varies depending on your operating system. On Windows, you typically find the Bluetooth settings in the System Settings or Control Panel. On macOS, you'll find it in System Preferences. Once Bluetooth is activated, your computer will scan for available devices. 4. Your keyboard and mouse should appear in the list of available Bluetooth devices on your computer screen. The name will likely include Sculpt Ergonomic Keyboard and Sculpt Ergonomic Mouse, or something similar. 5. Select your keyboard from the list and click Pair or Connect. Your computer will then establish a Bluetooth connection with the keyboard. Repeat this process for your mouse. Select it from the list of available devices and click Pair or Connect. 6. Once both devices are paired, you should be able to use them. Windows may ask you to install drivers. If so, follow the on-screen instructions. If you encounter any issues, check your device manuals, Microsoft's support website, or search online for troubleshooting steps related to your specific keyboard and mouse model. Remember to be patient. Sometimes pairing can take a few tries. If the devices don't show up in the list of available Bluetooth devices, ensure that both your keyboard, mouse, and computer are within a reasonable Bluetooth range, typically about 30 feet. Sometimes restarting your computer can help resolve pairing problems. If you still have trouble after trying these steps, checking for any updates for your keyboard and mouse drivers might be beneficial. The process can vary slightly depending on the operating system version, but these steps should provide a general idea of what to expect.